dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, it's Ben here for Escape the Echo Chamber with Neil's Cat and Ben and today we're still at Yapoon Pony and Hat Club. I still don't know what the hack part means, but uh, yeah, we had an awesome night here. We uh, sat up and uh, played some songs and... I'm gonna fight them all Cause the words are also mixed in my head Get them right All the verses mingle into one And if I start to sing it right you know Because it won't sound bad But the words are all jumbled now So it's soft And the message coming from my eyes says, leave me alone. And, uh, then when the sun went down, we cooked our dinner in that bucket there. And we had all this area lit up. And uh, then all of a sudden, this happened. We're sitting there and something like flew across in front of us and went splat and hit the tree and then run up it. And it was a sugar glider. And then before I could get my phone, I'm standing there watching it while Sarah's getting my phone. It's climbed up the top of this tree here and then jumped across and then gone splat on this branch and run up into this tree. Oh man, that was so cool. I've seen sugar gliders once before. There was a pair of them. He didn't fly very far. He like, yeah, he, he definitely like fell as far as he went. Like it's just like more of a controlled gliding fall. But today we're in Yapoon, we're gonna go look around and uh, check out the coast at Rockhampton. Uh, so welcome to Lammermoor Beach, I think it's called. Uh, down this way is Emu Park, they got like this mad big cut out bit of the thing and then the harbour here behind us we'll go check out soon and the headland there and yeah it looks cool as. And then uh, yeah back up this way, up this end is Yapoon and uh, then you keep going up north further and you'll get the by field which is hopefully where we'll go tomorrow but yeah check this place drink it in oh man yeah it's so How nice nice is it and it's such like a huge big long beach it's beautiful it's just pristine hey mm. wow yeah and the beach is so nice and flat too and can go down and see how clear the water is in a second. It's a long it's walk down there. Clear. Wow. Wow's about like the only thing I've got to say about this place. It's uh it's a little bit nicer than 1770 again. Just a little bit. This beach is awesome, but uh, let's go around this big cliff bit and see what the harbour over here is like. Look out pheasant again, I might be able to get a better shot of him. Hey, there he goes. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Normally you see them in the cane field. And they make a really cool noise as well, eh? We used to get them in our yard sometimes. And like, you just want them to go away. Because it gets really annoying really quick. Right, so we made it to, I think it's Roslyn Bay Marina, and uh, yeah, this place is awesome. This is this big headland behind us we were just looking at, and yeah, check. Oh man, what a boat harbour. It's just stunning everywhere. Alright, so we come down in front of the headland now, and yeah, uh, wow. place is just spectacular like wow wow right so we've gone down the coast a bit and this is called causeway lake i think and yeah it's low tide so the the causeway is kind of holding water up there you can see it like pouring down back out to sea here and then it comes down this bit and snakes out here 
on this endless beach, man. The beach is like miles out over there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, this place is so cool. There's this huge big shallow bay that we're actually like standing in and that runs up into the creek that becomes the causeway. Over here, I don't know how well you can see, but there's these cool little birds, eh? I don't know what they are. It's like rust colored. Yeah, they like um they kind of look like tiny plovers. And they got like a rusty colored head. But uh yeah, they're really cool, eh? And, oh man, he's fast, eh? Oh man, it's Ooh. so cool here. Like look at this little island how close it is there, right? I bet it has some mad bird life on it too. Oh, these little birds are so cool. I wish I knew what they were. Right, so we made it to Emu Park, which is like the southern point on the coast here. I think if you go much further south, you run into the Fitzroy River. And, uh, where, yeah, where the Capricorn Coast starts. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, is called the Singing Ship, and uh, it was put here to honour Captain James Cook, RN. Uh, I guess you know what he was and who he, what he did. But yeah, it says he discovered and named Keppel Bay 26th to 28th of May 1770. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's like the second place we've been now where mm. Captain Cook's been. I don't know if he landed like here. He did land somewhere around here though. Oh, so they uh, erected it on May 20, 1970. So oh, yeah. like the bicentennial. On the bicentennial. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So that's mad as. Um, hopefully we can find where they landed. I know they landed on one of the islands on Curtis Island, I think. And somewhere on the mainland here. But yeah, uh, pretty cool still. These cool rusty emus here. But uh, we haven't seen a real one yet, but I'm guessing they, they probably used to be here. Maybe there's some stuff around. I don't know. So it turns out like Emu Park was built on oysters. They had these old photos and there was like massive piles of oyster shells in the creek. Uh, not in the creek, in the street. Where they had like 10 oyster bars here selling oysters. It sounds really weird. And this is like in the 1880s or something. This is going yeah. back a long yeah. way. And uh, yeah, they used to like truck people out from uh or train them out from rockhampton yeah, and then like they'd uh, too. yeah they'd go out to the islands and harvest harvest oysters apparently so yeah there you go it's a massive uh oyster place back in the day so yeah that's like emu park and capricorn coast and like some islands and things and yeah old mate rolled his boat it's uh <laughs> It's been a pretty cool day. Uh, we're gonna go and get some lunch and uh, yeah, see what happens after that. Oh, how's this for lunch, eh? Looking at the islands over there. Where are they? Over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today. We're back in the wombat at the Hacked Up Pony Club and uh. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows what does hack mean you tell me tell me someone and uh yeah so that's it there's even a pony up here it's not much of a pony the caretaker horse man it's awesome big horse up there but yeah that's it for uh, escape the echo chamber with neil's cat for today and uh yeah we will see you tomorrow i'm gonna wichita Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me back I'm gonna rip it off Taking their time right behind my back And if I catch you coming back my way I'm gonna serve it to you And that ain't what you wanna hear That's what I'm gonna do and the message coming from my eyes says, leave me alone. <laughs>